Around the globe, billions of people every morning drink from a cup like this. Probably you did too. One morning, it occurred to one of us to take a spoon and start tapping on this cup. It seems to emit the same pitch from all over the place. Maybe it is a characteristic pitch of this cup, and if you take another cup, it will emit another pitch. So the music of this particular cup, as it were. But then, I thought of tapping somewhere else. Those four points emit a higher pitch than those four points. What is going on? Yes, thank you very much for pointing that out. It has to do with the handle. But you see, if it has to do with the handle, wouldn't you have thought that this half of the handle uh, of the cup near the handle and this half of the cup farther from the handle should behave differently? But that's not how the symmetry is broken. Indeed, the point next to the handle and point farthest from the handle emit exactly the same pitch, whereas 45 degrees off So it's not as simple as just the presence of the handle. I thought about this, and thought about this, and this is, I think, what is going on. In order to understand, first, why any four points that form the vertices of a square always emit the same pitch, you know, those four points or those four points, we'll forget about the handle, we'll pretend that this does not exist, and we'll bring it back later. Okay, so, if you tap, for example, this point, you make the cup vibrate just like so. In response, the diametrically opposite point of the cup can respond in one of the two ways. It can respond this way or this way. But you see, the latter of the two, this response, is like moving the whole cup back and forth as a whole, like a rigid body. And it doesn't change the shape of the cup. But of course, the sound, the phenomenon of sound, has everything to do with the vibration of a body and the changing of the shape. So to a good approximation, this response you cannot hear. It doesn't partake in this production of the sound. So what you are hearing is this response of the, of the vibration. Now, the cup, on the other hand, as a whole, wants to stay incompressible. It doesn't want to change its volume, if it can help it. It doesn't want to shrink, it doesn't want to expand. So when those two points go in, they push out those two points in order to compensate. And when these two points go out, they pull in those two points. So that, as a whole, you get this losange or rhombus kind of uh, um, oscillation, which means that any four quadruplet points that form the vertices of the square sing in unison. And now we understand why those four points sing in unison and those four points sing in unison. But why these four points higher pitch than those four points? In order to understand that, let's bring the handle back. You see, when you are exciting one of those four points, it doesn't matter which one, they always sing in unison, you have to take the handle with you because after one of the vibrating points is attached to the handle and it sort of has to drag the handle. In contrast, when you excite one of those four points, you remember how it works. When this goes in, this goes out, and when this goes in, this goes out. And as you can see, the point in between is a node. In other words, to a good approximation, it's not moving. So as far as this quadruple point is concerned, the handle is irrelevant. It's, it's as if it's not there. So now you have two, you can imagine two elastic systems in vibration. You can think of them as springs made of the same stiffness. But one of them has to drag a heavy handle, and that is this quadruple point. And the other one, it's that quadruplet, is not attached to any mass. The handle is not there. So if you have two springs of the same stiffness, at one of them attached to a heavy mass and the other one is not attached to a heavy mass, and you release them, what do you expect? Of course, the heavy one will go sluggishly, warm, 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 warm. And the light one will go, hee-ho, hee-ho. And that's the difference of the pitch that you hear.